I never wanted to talk about him because I'm not a fan of his kind of music. But what drew my attention to him, to even get to the essence of doing a video for, um, about him, is a video I stumbled upon recently, and I'm about to play that video right now. I almost shed tears the day I watched this video. I'll play the video briefly and we'll answer our fifth question when I, I get back. I'm just trying to ask. Like I'm a bad boy. Not my mama's song around here. I don't really mean it like that from my mind. You mean it, bro. So I don't know these people are behaving on me. They have been dreaming about things on me. I went mad into it because of this issue. Now they are trying to kill me. I beg, if I die like this. Now, my dad left gospel music because his father was poor doing it, and he clearly never wanted to be poor. But the path he chose led him to the depth of worldliness where the devil messed him up big time and made him do things that was contrary to his upbringing. But as God will have it, Mubad started retreating and realizing that he was on the wrong path. He began to foresee the danger of retreating. He stopped smoking and doing drugs, cut off his association with friends he believed was influencing him wrongly. Then he saw that death was looming. He cried to his friends and no one responded. He cried to the police and they did nothing. He looked to his fans he was entertaining. He did videos and cried for help. There was no response. And then he remembered the God of his father and started calling on Jesus. You heard him in that video. Well, only Jesus knows where he is. But what I know is that Jesus is merciful. The Bible says that whosoever calleth upon the Lord shall be saved. And the Bible says that the Lord will have mercy on whom he chooses to have mercy on. So some may say he was never baptized, many will say he never attended church, many, are, many have even concluded that he will, be, he will definitely be in hell. But such was the case of the thief on the cross. The world had condemned him, the world had put him on the grave, even given him the penalty, he was serving the penalty of death on the cross. But then he saw someone who the world also condemned too, they also wanted to kill him. Now the thief, looking at someone who was condemned, was calling him Lord. He said, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Now for, for realizing that Jesus was God, for recognizing the divinity of Jesus and the power of Jesus, for even knowing that Jesus even has a place, a kingdom where he rules, he shows that this person was predestinated and predestination worked for him. So now... I am not concluding that Mubad is in heaven or is in hell, but I believe strongly that after the gross injustice that Mubad faced on earth, Jesus is the only one who can truly deliver justice for Mubad.